Let's just get straight to the point. You suck at modeling things by hand and your best attempt at creating a crystal goes something like this. But really what you want is a crystal that looks like this, this, or this, and preferably you want a procedural method to make these so you can sell them for $5 a pop on TurboSquid. An ICG Matter aka CG crystal will show you a procedural approach that lets you control the color, size, shape, and surface properties of your crystals in what I expect to be a fairly long tutorial. So as long as you have some time to spare, the newest version of Blender and an HD ride from HDRI Haven, you'll be ready to start in 3, 2, 1. So with Blender over, Open, delete the default cube, replace it with any base mesh you want, set to smooth shading, and apply subsurf modifier to get extra geometry which we'll need for displacement. Now in the shading workspace, apply the default material to your mesh and set up your HDRI which will view in cycles with transparency enabled. For displacement, bring in a Voronoi texture node with the factor connected to a displacement node and hook that up to the displacement socket of the material output node. Now to the untrained eye, it may look like we've added our displacement, but in reality, this isn't deforming our geometry and is just working like a normal map. What we need to do is in the material settings, toggle bump only to display displacement and bump which gives us a ducky 3D tutorial and set the displacement scale to something that's less intense. Note that we can change our Voronoi texture scale to get different results which is part of what makes this setup procedural. So we've completed the base for our crystal but since the Voronoi texture is using generated coordinates we're still getting this unnatural distortion when stretching our model. Instead we want this procedurally updating result which can account for scaling. In other words we need our Voronoi texture to keep the same density under transformations. To do this add a driver to the x-axis scale in the mapping node linked to the x-axis scale of the base mesh without any extra in the expression. Then repeat this for both the y and z axes, which again will make our displacement update every time we scale the base mesh. For a bit more detail, just copy this branch over with updated drivers, swap out the Voronoi texture for a noise texture, and swap the displacement for a bump, which we can then connect to the normal socket of the principled BSDF node. This will create some high frequency detail that of course also updates with our scaling. So now we have our procedurally updating mesh, and the final step is to add some coma inducing shading. Remember you have lots of freedom in this step, whereas I didn't give you permission before, so make sure to deviate from these steps if you want to. So to shade our crystal, just bring up the transmission to 1, which makes it more glassy, set the IOR to 2 since that's the index of refraction for crystals, and bring down the roughness to get less blurry reflections. For the color, I like to take a noise texture, saturate it, and mix it with an RGB node which gives us this spacey look while still letting us control the primary color. So with that connected to our principled BSDF, just mix it with an emission shader using a layer weight node as our factor, and for the color, use the same setup as before with a bit of a modification to our hue. This way, we have the RGB node controlling both the base color and the halo emission bordering the mesh. And believe it or not, that's actually all you need to know for making these crystals, so I hope you do believe it because this tutorial is now over.